Good morning, everyone. I would like to greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to be reading this morning from the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 9, from verse uh, 6 to 7. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called the Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish it. Amen. Thanks be to God. Well, this morning, I just want to have a short reflection as we are approaching Christmas. This is the last week as we get into Christmas. Just want to thank God that our God is a good God. We thank God even for giving us a plan for our salvation through his son, Jesus Christ. As we celebrate this Christmas, we need to just thank God that he brought Jesus unto us. A lot of names are mentioned in this verse that the wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father. I like mostly the one which says the prince of peace and that is the greatness of his government will be peace, there will be no end. I'm praying for a peaceful Christmas. I'm praying that there will be peace in the world, in a world where things are not well, in a world where there is no peace, there are a lot of wars and the like. But we pray that when Jesus comes into our lives, we need to have this peace within us. And also this peace starts with you as an individual. And it radiates into the community, it radiates into the in the county, it radiates into the town and everywhere else into the country. And we pray for peace in the whole world. Jesus is coming unto us in humility, the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, that he, he will provide peace to all, to all his people. May God bless us this Christmas as we celebrate christmas let's do it in a peaceful way let's remember all those who don't have i know we're meeting as christmas this time where the cost of living is very high and also people have got to choose between eating and eating but we just want to pray that god gives us that everlasting peace unto us all even as a church even as individuals let's do everything in a peaceful way and as we celebrate with our families, as we celebrate this Christmas, I pray that God gives us peace, that peace of mind and that joy as we celebrate and say, God is with us. Emmanuel, Ishanesu, God is with us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.